Hi, my name's Eddie Pratt, and this is a quick uh, demo of the Wacom 21UX. That's a new model with Intuos 4 technology. And what I'm going to show you here is just a piece of work that I did for uh, Rico, uh, which is a, a motion production company based in Winchester in the UK. They do some pretty cool stuff. So you can check out their site at rico.tv. At R E K O dot TV, and the piece that I did was just a simple photograph. And if we go to the page, their web page, Rico dot TV, and you click on the where icon there, and we get to see their page with this really dark sort of um, texture to it and a really sort of mysterious feel. And so it was the photograph uh, that I worked on for um, the production of this. So if we just switch into Photoshop now, and this is the original photograph that I started with. So I've taken this with a, a Nikon D300 camera, and the photograph's actually from within the inside of the phone box. So it's a very, very wide angle lens that goes down to, I think it's around about 14 millimeters and it's on a tripod the camera's mounted on a tripod and it's squeezed into the inside of the box i've used some um flash flash guns i think i've used one and just bounced it and that's why you can see quite a lot of reflection on there so what i'd first like to do because i knew they wanted a kind of dark mysterious uh, look to this was to um start to sort of assess the basic photograph that I've taken and work out what I'd like to start doing uh, what correction I'd like to start making so if I sort of, sort of highlight where my thinking was with that so I'll just create a new layer there and I'll just click one of my function keys here to get the quick pop-up menu for the tool so I'll choose a brush I'll um, reduce the brush size there and I'll just pop in a different color so let's have a look here I'll just put a kind of pretty bright red in there and so if I just sort of mark on here the type of things that I was uh, wanting to get rid of so some basic things like this thing here which is some label I didn't want that label there um, probably a few of the little bits and pieces you know perhaps the the distracting major mark there um, I guess the other thing for me as well was this whole area at the top here um, it looks too bright uh, with all of the reflection from the roof of the telephone box so all of this piece at the top I kind of want to get rid of some of that gloss out of there and get a, rid of some of the gloss down here that's just a bit too bright and glossy and the, the other thing that I wanted to do was to add a certain amount of um, mystery to that and, and the way that you can add some mystery to a photograph is by lighting it unevenly and this is a a trick that's used in uh, lighting sets in um, motion pictures a lot so they'll kind of put uneven lighting in different areas of the set to create um, some sort of tension or drama and a little bit of mystery so I, I was looking at ways of doing that so um, let's get going okay so the first thing I'll do is just to turn off that uh, layer that I was using to demonstrate there and I'll start to take out some of those uh, big things that I didn't really like so I'll just uh, switch to the zoom tool and just zoom into the areas that I want to work on so this is kind of quite easy to remove with something like this so what I'll use is just the I guess I'll just use the clone tool to get rid of that so if I just uh, I'm just clicking a, a function button on the left of the tablet there to give me this pop-up menu and this is all very customizable from the Wacom uh, properties and I like to get to these tools very quickly without drilling down into several sub menus so you can you can have sub menus or you can just have a a single menu with the most common tools you use so I'm just experimenting to see what works for me so if we uh, t choose the clone tool um, I'll just give myself a, a new uh, layer to work on there and I'll call that clone okay so on there what I want to do is to make sure it's on uh, normal mode here at the top I want to make sure that samples the current and other layers below 
because I want it to actually sample the black background. So I'll get myself a, a, a reasonably sized brush there and then I'll start to um, sample around here and just get rid of that. Okay, my opacity is a bit low and the flow is a bit low there, so let's take that up. Take the opacity up. I'm using the touch strip, which I've programmed to control opacity, so I'm just moving my finger on the back of the, the tablet up and down to control the opacity, and I've programmed it so I can also move up and down on the flow of the brush as well. So what we can do there is um, just sample that, give that a go. Okay, so that's looking a lot better. And we're getting rid of that nicely. I'll just resample there. I just sample from down here. Okay, and we just do that to quickly remove that. And because the background's uneven, we don't have to be super careful on how we do it there. Kind of just just so it looks pretty blended in. And that looks kind of matching in with everything. So what I'll do then is I'll just uh, zoom out a little bit. And I'm using the touch strip on the back of the pad there to do that. Okay, so I think the next thing to pay attention to is this label down here, just on the phone box itself. So let's go down there. And again, we can just um, sample and clone around that. So if we just do that. And you can see here I've actually got quite a soft brush because the edges are the edges of the words are kind of just blending away, melting away nicely there. And really just adjusting the properties of the brush to, to what suits you and whether it gives you the look and feel you want. And again, because everything's so uneven on this particular piece of work, it's not going to be noticed so much. So let's just move, zoom out and see how that's looking. That's okay, but I'm not entirely happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to the... Um, let's have a look what will we do here. Let's go to the healing brush and just do a little bit of healing in that area. So I'll just increase the brush size. I'm using the touch strip on the back again. And I want normal blending then. Again, I've got current and blow for the sampled lays. So let's just uh, sample a bit of that. Okay, just undo that. Okay, so I'm just going to undo all of this because I'm not happy with that, so I'm just going to step back and try that again. And I might just try a different approach to fixing that. And I think the approach that I'm going to use is the patch tool. Yeah, so I'm going to choose the patch tool there see how that works. So we just draw around the area we want to fix and then we drag that over. Okay, I need to be on that layer. Okay, that kind of looks a bit better. We just tidy up that little piece it's dragged over that we didn't want there. Deselect that. Grab him. Okay, deselect that. Okay, that's a lot better. It's a much nicer result. If I wanted to make that non-destructive, I could have just done a uh, done it on the copy of the background rather than uh, doing the patch on the background itself. But it depends what your work in practice is. Okay, then we've got some different areas here, so I'll just. Uh, select the um, clone tool again, reduce the size a little bit, sample around there, to get rid of some of the, the nasty big pieces there which are standing out. I've got a bit of red dot there we can get rid of. Oh, I guess that, oh that looks like it's off the camera, I guess it's a reflection of the something off the camera so we get rid of that. I'll just take a quick look at that if I zoom out. 